Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, Friday the 7th of November. Thanks again for watching. Uh, and of course, because it's Friday, that means it's JMA Day, which is when the Japanese Meteorological Agency release their weekly month ahead forecast. So always interesting to see what that has on offer for us. And uh, you need to just twist your heads around a little bit for this one, because the UK is underneath here. OK, you can just see uh, Spain sticking out here, look. So the UK is underneath there, and what this is showing in week one, so this is the forecast taking us up to next Thursday, which is the 13th of November. So uh, what we're seeing here is this trough look through uh, the UK and Ireland, maintaining the unsettled conditions that we've got at the moment. So very little change during the coming week. Into week two, again, little change again. Look, the trough is still there, but just look at the size of this ridge off towards the east look it extends cross polar down into uh, the uh, right the way across onto the opposite side of the uh, pole so really dominant into the pacific there extending from uh, europe right the way across into the pacific and starting to form a block out towards the east now what that would do with the trough here through the uk particularly eastern parts uh, western parts of the uk is it mains the it maintains the unsettled conditions so this is the week from the 14th through to the uh, 20th of november so the unsettled conditions maintain particularly western areas although towards the east with that ridge there Perhaps eastern air is not seeing so much in the way of unsettled conditions. But what this also leans to is that if this part of the trough gets cut off and slips southwards, we could go into uh, cooler conditions. I'll show you that in just a moment. So this is the the uh, week three and week four forecast. So from the 21st of November, uh, which incidentally is my birthday. Uh, yes, uh, have I mentioned that before? <laughs> I might have done. Uh, 21st of November through to the uh, 4th of December. So this is for the um, two weeks. So the third and the fourth week. Uh, so it's a mean of the two weeks. And look, the trough is there in the Atlantic. But notice it's pulled back a little bit further westwards again. There's that ridge, look, that block over Scandinavia here. And <clears throat> hints that this sort of the jet is further south. It's here across more southern parts of the country or to the south of the country. Now that's interesting because that could potentially pull down temperatures. Now for the next seven days, temperatures uh, look like this. This is the temperature anomaly for the next seven days from the GFS model. You notice that across the UK essentially it's near normal, a little bit below Western Scotland and Ireland, but for most areas it's near normal. Some very, very warm air though out here over the eastern parts of Europe. But what we need to watch for and what's interesting that's showing up at the moment is the idea of the jet pulling south. So this is the 7 to 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow. ECMWF is on the left, GFS is on the right. This is from next Friday through to Monday the 17th. And just notice here, look how close together those lines are. This is the jet going south of the country, low the normal heights focus towards the southwest of the UK. Look at that ridge built up towards the north. The GFS, same again look, there it is with the jet stream south. There's the ridge to the north. There's the low in the heights. We are on the cold side of the jet stream. So it's indicating this fall off in temperatures during this period. Now, I don't think it's drastically cold. I think we're talking temperatures of sort of uh, perhaps a 6 in Scotland or down to a 10 uh, perhaps across the far south of England. Certainly for snow over the Scottish hills, perhaps over the Pennines as well. And some really cold days in there if we did get um, some um, some. Uh, systems coming across the south of the country wouldn't rule out, like I say, the possibility of snow over the high ground of the Pennines running northwards from there, given that sort of pattern. And um, so it's not desperately cold. It's not, you know, we're not talking real depths of winter, but the indications are, are certainly there. And you, you see even strong when you look at this. This is the CFS 45 day forecast from Carl McRitch's site. And, um, of course, you've got to take it with a limited pinch of salt because of how far ahead it is. But this is the NAO. And just notice what happens to it. Look, around the 15th of November, it slips into negative territory. It's bouncing around neutral into negative. So it's indicating that the westerlies across the Atlantic are displaced. They're not where they would normally be. And this confirms this idea of it being further south. We saw that on the Japanese We've seen it on the GFS, and the CFS is also trying to pick up on that as well. But what's interesting from the CFS is that we then look at the Arctic Oscillation. 
look, that's down in negative territory as well. Now, when you get a negative oscillation around the uh, a negative Arctic oscillation, that is where the flow around the Arctic is reduced. So it enables cold air to slip off the poles and come further southwards through the northern hemisphere. And <clears throat> if you notice, look, it maintains that for, for some time. So certainly we, we're building this story of a colder second half to November. CFS looks like this. Week one, uh, very similar to the JMA. There's our deep trough look off towards the uh, west of the country. Week two, um, very, very similar to the JMA trough here. Look at the size of the ridge. It extends right the way across the pole into the Pacific. And then we get into week three and into week four. Again, week three keeps that trough look off towards the west, has the ridge off towards the east. And this is the feature that I think we need to watch for, for potentially being cut off, slipping southwards. And it's that that drags the jet south. And then uh, into week four, look, there's the trough centered off towards the east. The low of the heights here, high pressure or higher heights off towards the uh, east of the country, I, I should say. Um, did I say that the low in the heights was east? No, it's not. It's west. It's here. Here's the high off towards the east. And what you would find on this pattern is the jet stream coming through something like that. So it's south of the country. So we're starting to see these signs, these building signs of cooler air on its way. Of course, we'll uh, keep you updated right the way throughout here at uh, weatherweb.net. Don't forget you can subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, that will give you updates whenever they're published online. And also uh, you can come back to the website to weatherweb.net and watch the videos through there as well. And of course we've got loads of charts available for you too. So we'll leave you with that for now on this uh, cold, potentially tantalising theme. And uh, let's just see how things develop. So for now, whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining. Thanks for watching and bye for now.